Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of Fascist Mexico. So here we are looking at our grand foothold in the Pacific of the uh, the island of Taiwan. And so I was doing a little bit of stuff before I got into it, just rearranging things, queuing up some things. We don't really need to go into it. It's not all that important. We do have this supply issue, so we got that to deal with. Um, I know, I know we're not making the fighter. That's why we're making jet fighters, all right? So right now, oh, we are operating into, I don't want that anymore. We don't, do we really need to operate in both areas? I do not believe so. Uh, what do I gotta do here? I don't wanna right, I wanna get, I gotta shift right click. Man, it's been a while. Um, yeah, up here. Come on, show it to me, baby. There, and I guess we'll start doing it here on the, the coast as well. And uh, we'll see how that, okay, America does have that, so I don't really care about uh, Iwo Jima. I'm going to be going for the uh, Okinawa and see if we can't um, disrupt some some plans there as another foothold. Uh, I also have all my planes right here in the South China Sea. Is this where we're at? The South China Sea? Is that what I just saw? Yes, East China Sea. Yep, East China Sea. So all of our planes are operating out of here, though. That's 1,600 planes operating within this region. Um, and here come the goddamn Americans. I just knew it. That is eating up our precious supply, America. Okay, well, that's done. That's good. We have more jet fighters standing by. Uh... We'll combine them, put them back over here to keep on harassing them. Interception and air superiority. Hopefully we'll get that. So now we can have a little bit more breathing room. I don't think I want to put any more. Well, I do have some more twos over here. We'll put some twos in here. Once we get... Um, I guess we'll just put everyone there. Once we get to onto uh, Okinawa, then we'll be able to launch against against the uh, Japanese home islands. Kyushu. Is it Kyushu? Is that what this island? So I don't know what each of the islands are. I apologize. Not that I have any Japanese people watching me, but I apologize. I don't know which each of the islands are, are called. Um, these Americans on here kind of annoy me because this is mine. This is my area. So if we look at our production, yeah, we moved on to infrastructure here. That should hopefully help with production, with um, supply. We're also building anti-air weapons just in case. Well, let's go ahead. Um, I actually want the Marines... One, they need to recuperate. Two, we'll start training them up again. They took some some hard shots um, during the invasion here. So, yeah. See, I guess I kind of need like another another naval base to uh, to get another type of landing off. We'll just make three, but that's going to be kind of secondary. I don't know how long it's going to take to get this one built up, but this one needs to be, or is this one? Oh, we do have a level 10. Okay, so we're making another level 10. Does it really need to be level 10 up here? Mm, don't really know about that. No, I've seen who had claims to it. Um, we'll probably let it get up a little bit. It's already up to two. Maybe we'll get a go another one, 
and uh, then we'll drop it down so we can build this. I just need more, more places to kick off the invasion from, basically. I hope you all enjoy the audio in the last one. I know I'm still tweaking it, so I try to get the the recording to my recording software, Marillus Action. I try to get it to put the audio on a separate track, um, and instead I had to do it with an AVI format on the video. But Marillus has this issue where they actually kind of suck in support. So it's a really easy software to use, but they suck in support. So. Their user manual is just like, well, you need to be in, have an AVI um, video format in order to record audio to a separate track. Okay, but it doesn't tell you where that audio is going to be outputted to. When I tried it on some test ones, the audio never separated into a separate track. It just sort of got evaporated into the air. So uh, that's why I didn't record anything of this on a separate track. But that's what's happening. So I'll, I'll keep on twiddling, tweaking it, and, and working with it. Also need to look at recording uh, using OBS. I understand that. Um, so we'll, we'll see what goes on. So I wish, yeah, I really wish I could downgrade these guys. Be like, nah, they're just all garrison troops. Don't worry about it. Because they're all out of supply, but I kind of need them. Because they're good with uh, just to kind of hold this, I guess. Not that I really expect anyone to come. Did I just hear some guns firing? Uh, let's check on our Navy. Oh, we do have another Navy forming here. By now it's only two. But we do have another Navy forming in, excuse me, in Mexico. Sorry, I'm having like uh, some acid reflux here. All right, let's, oh, those are lost ships. I want to know what kills you got. All right, so we don't really have a lot of experience. Our most experienced one is the Chiapas, the ARM Chiapas, which has sunk a battleship, the Congo, and a carrier, the Shokaku. It's uh, one of our Mach 2 models, so that's good. How about the uh, uh, Montezuma? This has also helped sink the Congo. There's a Congo. The Granda hasn't done anything yet. Well, it is just here. Um, Rio del Norte. Oh, it's the one that sunk the Congo. And it's helped sunk the Huga and the Shokaku. Actually, our, our stars are really the destroyers. Um, here's our most experienced one couple subs, a cruiser. Man, this thing was... I wish we could, uh, like, award points to it or something. That's that's pretty good. Suarez is definitely learning some stuff here. Um, I forget what that was. I almost got a spotter trait, so that's good. That's going to help us out a lot. Naval combat, that's right. I want to see what the naval combat is. Did they break off? I don't see it now. All right, so how are we going here on this? On this, we're doing pretty good. And, okay, so we have... Excellent, excellent. Our whole fleet's engaged to sink this one. Ah, oh, it keeps on running. Oh, man, we need to sink those subs. We need to butter them up. Or I guess not butter them up. What do I want to say? Uh, soften them up. All right, are we here now? We are here. We're still training. That's okay. We're going to start the plans. So we need to capture the point. Oh, that's good. We need to capture the port. I think the port's there. And battlefield support. Okay, that's actually kind of useful stuff. And they are not moving. And we need, okay, we need that stuff built. So right now, what level is this? It is a level three. Okay, so let's 
let's not worry about that one. We want to move. We want to move this. And push that up, push that up. That looks good. I mean, we're, we're quite a good industrial nation right now. So I'm actually very happy where we are. That's why I'm not bitching about it all the time. Wish we had a little bit more resources, but uh, that's why we're capturing all these places. Um, looks like the Americans have abandoned it. They just let two infantry divisions here. They're eating up my supply nonetheless, and I don't like them for it. All right, we're going to give these guys some tactics as well. Was oh, there only two? There's only two. Now they have this one up here, too. We're going to do that. Um, what is the terrain up here? Planes. So that's where we're sending. That's, that's where we're going to send the. Uh, oh, this is all planes. Um, so maybe I'll send the, uh, the tanks here as well. I know, I know, I know. Attrition. It's my biggest enemy right now is attrition. Well, I thank you all for watching. You know, really all of you have stuck out, stuck it out with me on this long journey. It's awesome that you guys are such devoted to this series. And I hope you continue to watch the channel even after I'm done playing this. Like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, what I'm really anticipating. Going to be doing a um, mega campaign, a mega playthrough. So that, uh, look at that stuff. Yeah, uh, a, mega, um, a mega campaign all the way from Crusader Kings 2 to, <clears throat> um, to Hearts of Iron 4. So that's going to span who knows how long months maybe even a year to get done um but definitely leave me in the comments below leave what you what you want to see where do you want me to start in, in crusader kings 2 whom do you want me to start with muslim jewish um uh pagan christian uh france germany uh probably not gonna do france but uh you know down in africa somewhere let me know in the comments below uh, I want yours, or I'm just gonna pick it, and then no one's gonna be happy. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm always here to listen to, listen to your comments, to give you feedback. I mean, you, you whoever comments on my videos know that I respond right away because I got nothing, but nothing better to do at work, really. Um, but also just that uh, I want you guys are awesome, and I want to engage with you more and more. You know, go to my Twitter. Um, go to go to Facebook, search for 20 Italians, or, or actually you don't really have to go there. You can click on the links on the the YouTube homepage <clears throat> for my channel, and you can get my links there. Um, to get to Facebook, to get to get to me on Twitter, uh, let me know. Let me know. And uh, I want to talk to you. So you know, come on, man, hit a brother up. So as I was talking, we've um, done our, our retraining here of the Marines, all the all the reinforcements coming in, um, all the fresh fish, so to say. Uh, but nothing else has really been completed. You saw there also that uh, that sweet tech we're finally getting into, which is why I went down the carrier path, which is to really help out our battleships and uh, cruisers down the line. They might, nope, there is someone there. I was going to say, man, they just might give this to us. But we definitely have, I think we have air superiority. Yep. That's why it's all green. And we don't have it here over the Sea of Japan, but at the coast of Japan, yeah. aircraft detection total. We can't really tell there. But we definitely have control. It looks like we definitely have control of the of the seas, of the high seas. Um... So there should be no issues when we go to attack Japan. And I will end this after we after we conquer Japan. I was thinking about it some more, but I think that it is time to end it. It's just really nothing really going on here. So um, I don't know. May, <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. I'm probably going to stick to that. Uh, world domination would, would be nice, but not really feeling it right now. Uh, especially because, I mean, look at this faction map. Allies are everywhere. I mean, they're just thrown about. The common intern has Republican Spain 
and starting to take some of Africa. We have non-aligned people still. The Chinese United Front. The Axis is just Japan and Germany right now. And then, of course, the new North American order. So, I mean, it's a really huge conglomerate, you know, few conglomerations here. I wish we could have got Canada. Should have been more aggressive with taking Canada. But, oh, well, that's life. You know, you can't can't think about what you wanted. See, that's the problem, too. If I even take Tokyo, I was just thinking about this. If I take Tokyo, they still have all these islands that the Americans are just bypassing. They're not even attacking and that's really pissing me off too. Just freaking attack these little islands so that we 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 pen them up on on their homeland, you know, on on the home islands. It's just annoying. All right, now I have five vessels in our new fleet. Very very good, and we are. Well, I mean, we're, they're. They're about ready to go here. Ten more days and the Marines are ready to fight. Well, they need a lot of planning. Right, I got I got my base here finally, so we can start to do plans for this. And uh yeah, we'll send them here too. How long is that gonna take? That's not their plans. They're they're ready to go. They only need twenty eight days. Why the hell does he need so much longer to do a freaking landing? Oh, son of a bitch. Sorry, these are all the guys that were back in Mexico. And they're probably, probably trying to transport them. No, no, no. Shit, they're already on the boat somewhere. Is that them? I don't know if that's them. I wish you would tell me. Moving toward friendly territory, doing a naval division, uh, naval transfer. When are they gonna arrive? Fourteen days. So they gotta be somewhere here. But why can't I see them? That's all red. I don't know who that is. You gotta bring them back to the. Back to the homeland. Aha. There you are. Why are you that far? What What the hell? Why were you that far north? I mean, if that's where you are, I'm not going to transfer you any, anywhere else. Okay. At least we know I can transfer him to a base. Hello. Where's Mexico? No, but I want you to go back. Hold. There we go. Now they're along with this guy. Okay, so take care of that. Then we got these guys down here eating up supplies, whom I don't need. Well, let me just select your whole division. You guys can come on back home. Just go home, gentlemen. We don't need you. I mean, we we do we'll eventually because they're just going to go right back once we have more more room and our supply clears up. But right now they are just totally not needed at all, and so we need to get them out of here. I don't even know if that's affecting our supply right now. And it's probably not. Ooh, key point bombing. So we got that done. So what do we have here? We got plus 10 tactical bomber strategic bombing, ground support. That's going to be excellent. And air support plus 20. So what do I spend my, my hard earned research on? Nukes? I mean, I guess, right? I got to spend it on nukes because I don't want to be left behind. Fine. Start doing some atomic research. Our tactical bomber, <laughs> our ten over ten year old tactical bomber, 
uh, design will be done here in eight days. I can't believe this doesn't take longer. The game just doesn't realize, you know what? Seeing that it's this 1936 design and it's 1949, maybe we should just cut him a break on it. Um, but it doesn't. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, uh, you know what the problem is, though? Are they still... This is 22 divisions, but I only have 10 here. So... So if I do control right click, see everyone's, and I can't, oh, how do I remove division assignment, and edit, why am I drawing a blank here? I should know how to do this. I'm just going to take him out of the out of the army. There we go. And he should be good to go. He is good to roll. Are we good to go? He needs 18 more days. Well, I'm going to come back to you in eight more days, if that's all right. So I hope you, uh, yeah, just stick around. I mean, if something else happens between that, then, of course, I'll cut in. But, hey, you stick around because while it's going to take me a little bit of time, it's going to be happening to you in two seconds. Hey, everyone. Here we are. We're, we are back. And uh, time to launch an invasion. Hope you all have uh, popcorn and are waiting. So once we... Uh, get a foothold here and be, well once we capture Okinawa we'll end it so uh, people get their wish of a little bit longer here uh, some of the, the cool things that happened was that uh, oh that's not very fun I thought we had air superiority what the hell just happened so one of the cool things was that uh, our close air support around here all 291 of them or was it 691 like 691 uh, they destroyed um one of the one of the Japanese battleships. So that's pretty cool. We need to get more jet fighters over here. We're now over our limit in fighters. Well that's not fun. Well these fighters aren't really lasting too long. Oh we have air support standing by. Right, we're not doing kamikaze strikes yet, but I think having another, some more uh, fighters will be good. Okay, so I know we're over here on the air base, but it's the only air base we have, so it's just a little bit of crowding. Because I thought for sure we had superiority, but I guess we're kind of losing it here. All right, so who's opposing us down here? We got we got issues, basically, is what we have. Um, looks like we're winning it down here. Oh, we do have the beachhead. That was easy as hell. We're just gonna, nah, I'm not gonna take all the tanks because I need. Uh, it's a good thing it's all planes though. That's over. That was quick and easy to take Okinawa now, wasn't it? So you thought it was going to be a long time. Who has this? Right. Stop Stop with your stupid instructions. Yeah, stop with that. You're done. Alright, looks like you're getting requests. Don't really need that. I'm just using them from garrison duty in, in South America right now. La Paz was a big issue with me. Oh, apparently, I was going to say, well, what the hell is this out here? I believe that's mine. I don't have to take it. It's probably impassable. It looks impassable. I think we're good. Okay. So, now to improve, we're going to move our... We're going to move our fighters over. Uh, 
and relieve some of that pressure. Cool. Okay, and what else did I want to do? Oh, that's right, I need to build up these. Oh, stop it. All right, well, we need to build up the infrastructure. Yeah, so that's going to take precedence over those two. Just these Taiwan, um, I guess they're still needed. We'll just keep them in the queue there. But it's not really that important. The air base, though, that is... Excuse me, man. is desperately important. Vitally important. We get a good base there. And... We're going to put the base there. So, But this is... I can only have one air base. Yeah. Do I need forts? Not really. And then anti-air, of course. Alrighty, so there we go. Okinawa has... Well... Okinawa's about to fall. And we are... We are losing... All right, there we go. And these are jet fighters. I can't understand why we're losing to... Well, I don't actually know what the Japanese have. There we go. Now we're starting to... We did something there. I find it surprising that we're not doing as much there. Okay, originally owned, so we're good to go now. Well, there you go. That's all of Okinawa. I'll end it here. I know we're pretty pretty over, but um, uh, yeah, we'll end it here. So there you go. Another another Japanese island has been taken. Taken. So now it is first on to Kyushu, and we will sweep onward to Tokyo. Thank you all for watching this episode of Fascist Mexico. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the audio was good too. Uh, go ahead and get leave a like if you think that was a good video. Um, and that you uh, are cannot wait until you see the, the epic conclusion as I invade the Japanese home islands. Go ahead and if this is your first time here, click on that red subscribe button. Let's me know that I'm doing a great job and you want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone, good night and good luck.